Hey guys, welcome back to Arndorf season two. It's been four years since I've started this series. Oh my God, so, so, so long ago. But I promised you guys I'm gonna continue it because I haven't finished the series. I just simply stopped because I lost the spirit of making those type of videos with stories, uh, you know, seen and uh, told by Johan. But I wanna continue this series in a season two where I'm gonna do some time lapses. We can talk about how we are going to make Arndor bigger and rebuilding everything we've done so far. So there will be lots of videos, combinations of rebuilding and building new stuff and so on. And in today's episode, I'm gonna do uh, start working at a small part of the city belt. It's, in my opinion, it is extremely, extremely important to have a city belt going around the city, you know, just to uh, make the traffic way much easier, more fluent, and to provide the cars going into the city or exiting the city easily or and anyways you will see what this is about i'm gonna show when i'm gonna i'm rebuilding stuff i'm gonna show you guys also some before and after cinematics so you can see the difference between how things look before and how they look now trust me it's going to be an improvement just think about it there are four years in between these two seasons and in four years so many things have changed in city skylines so many new mods so many new assets visual mods and so on that improve the game extremely 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 anyways if you think about it probably at a point this city belt is not going to go it's not going to work as a city build because it's going to be <laughs> inside the city because now i'm building somewhere at the south of the city and i think that not far from now we will extend the city so probably we will absorb this entire city build and we make it like and turn it into a boulevard or whatever and it's going to be good actually somewhere at the uh, at the far east side we have uh, the highway and that highway is going to work so also as part of the city belt. So we will have a big look at it later after the, uh, the cinematics and time lapses. So you can understand exactly what I'm doing. Now here we are looking at the previous uh, transportation hub that we had. And uh, we have trams and buses that are stopping over here. Unfortunately, we don't have... Um, how is it called those intercity buses yes they don't stop here but it would have been really cool to have this uh, station working as uh, as an uh, intercity bus stop as well anyways very close to this bus hub we will have we already have actually a train station from the french district and we will have another one um, that will be right next to the 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 so-called uh, city belt I, I keep saying the so-called because i think not i i would keep saying actually because of, as i said eventually it will not be a city belt any longer or whatever but uh, things will look way way much better and things will work way 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 much better than before i kept some of the buses you probably already spotted some i already kept some of the buses uh, the mini bus those uh, specifically done for arndorf and uh, i'm adding i've added also a lot of other, other buses to make things way much better i i'm using a, a new collection as well it's called by default it's made by myself i made it and called it like that because i want to use it in all my series it's a by default collection that must be used in your for european uh, builds let's call them right so I'm not gonna play without that. That one has the most used assets and props, uh, vehicles, and um, yeah, that, that's it. Vehicles and assets and props. Uh, the mods, the, the list of mods is always is going to be different, even though I'm using mo most of the time the same one. Good. So I brought some improvements to that uh, bus up over there, and now here I'm improving the road. Why? I'm, am I doing this is because I didn't like the very bright gray of the asphalt so I'm coloring it a bit more darker to make it look more I don't want to say more realistic but better much much better plus I've changed the asphalt map theme 
uh, I, I'm using now the, I think the one from Leviant 1.4 or something like that is called, made by Arnold because the theme for that asphalt is amazing and it would have been pity not to use it actually. And um, everywhere, every every single place where these this uh, city belt is going to intersect with a road that takes cars or uh, gets cars from from the city um, i'm gonna make a roundabout right under the city belt so i prefer it to work like that we also have here in in my country in bucharest in, on the north side we have it's it's a national road it's actually national road number one that takes cars from the city center actually it's a very big boulevard there and as soon as it gets at the city limits it turns into the national road and those cars have all these bridges going on top or above roundabouts because this way cars can drive faster they don't interact with other cars they are not being influenced by those roundabouts whatsoever uh, and uh, traffic is more fluently before long 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 time ago when we didn't have this kind of uh, roundabouts and so on those roads external roads was were linking the main one the national road and it was a total madness there were like kilometers of cars waiting to get into the city or get out from the city it was one horrible moment to drive there anyways so uh every single place as you can see i'm even copying actually because by the way if you do with node controller and uh, um, the intersection marking tool you already do the roads you will have the the, the, the all everything you've done for those roads it's going to be kept so with the copy paste will help you a lot because you just copy and you have everything there already done so why doing it few times right like it, it doesn't make a sense um, at all so i'm copying this this is the the the, the way i'm gonna uh, let's say use this uh, city build i'm gonna i'm redoing this bridge over here and the reason why i'm redoing it is because first of all i thought i feel like it's not fitting those metal beams over there and then again i need to go properly with these train tracks these train tracks that are linking um, another train station from Andorf, the one from the french district so i'm gonna link that one uh, properly with different type of uh, I already downloaded actually some additional train tracks and just placing them down I think I'm gonna uh, at a point I'm gonna upgrade all these train tracks we have in the city with these new ones and maybe we can find some really cool combinations between train tracks retaining walls bridges and so on to make things look really cool and uh, interesting even though I liked the, the ones I used before, I liked them because they had th th that super nice retaining walls on them already. So you don't have to, you know, plop down the train tracks and then the retaining walls and whatnot. So there at the bottom as a, of the screen, you can see the train station. I was telling you about the one that will be, it's a new one that is going to be situated right at the south of the uh, bus hub or the bus and tram hub actually. So. I was thinking to do some, some, some stuff because, okay, Arndorf season one was about Johan telling stories and whatnot, but many things were being named uh, in, in this series uh, after you guys, after those who are uh, supporting my channel and myself on Patreon. I think I'm gonna continue, not I think, I am going to continue with this, uh, uh, with, with this thing, giving names to new things we have from patrons, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna name this new train station uh, after a new patron. Uh, I will say the name very soon uh, for that. Because now uh, I want to say and talk a bit more about this one. These train tracks actually they go how should I say in two different directions. The the upper line is going to French train station, and the uh, lower uh, track is going to the new train station that I'm gonna build and uh, you know gonna build and detail very very soon 
it's going to uh, it, it's going in two places and both these tracks on the right side let's call it on the east side are both both are linked with uh, the big and the main train station from the new city center of uh, Arndorf the one which is of course close to the old center and old town let's call it and anyways both of them will be rebuilt completely because they look and they are a big big mess plus there are lots of things that are already missing from the map i don't know why i think i had lots of local files and whatnot and i don't know things are missing from the map but it doesn't really matter anyways so these tra train uh, tracks are going uh, and uh, they link with the big and the main train station from Andorf. i think it was called kubman train station i think so i'm not totally sure but i have to remember very well but yeah i think it was kubman uh, train station here on right next to this it's a new district uh, not a new district it's a district it's called pv bergman district and i think i'm gonna re completely redoing uh, this in the next episode one of the next episodes actually not in the next one so i thought of it okay if i'm gonna do this let me play a bit with the with the road we have here so we can i can link it differently not being very close to, to that roundabout plus it's going to go through the uh through the district itself so yeah that, that's what I, I i had in mind just to to make some changes over here plus uh, as i said in one of the next episodes things will look even uh, much much better and uh, i think right now i have around four or five actually this is well if you count this one of course we have in total i have in total five episodes recorded so i'm doing the commentary i have to do the commentary for all of them the reason why i wanted to uh, to make like five episodes or at least around there okay it's just because i wanted to have more changes into the city and make that intro in a way or another right so it's good because now i can uh, i can post as an early access uh episodes to my patreon uh, account so i can share them with you guys for those two widows that are uh, looking forward to see things uh, in advance if you don't want to wait now so coming back back to this train station over here i said i'm gonna give it give a name so i was thinking to name this train station uh, after bob Daktari or Bob Daktari, I'm not sure where to put the accent exactly, but let's let's name this Daktari train station. I know it doesn't sound very German, but you know what? It, do it, it doesn't even matter. So yeah, that's what we are going to do in the future. We are going to name all sort of areas or places or buildings or anything like that after my Patreons. And uh, it's just a big thank you for you guys uh, for supporting me for such a long time. It, it's, it's amazing. We will keep episodes quite short, somewhere uh, around or under 15 minutes because I feel this way you guys can be more focused on it and you can, uh, hopefully you can see more about it. So let's have a look uh, at the final build guys. So at, the, at this roundabout it's where the city build starts but in the future I'm gonna continue it and get it somehow like this going through this direction. And then we, we will see where we will, are going to link it. Then into the east, to the east side, it goes like this. We have so far one, two, three roundabouts. And then here I have a temporary industrial area because I needed to create more goods for more, my commercial areas. And then here we have this highway. So there is a highway going like this and this highway is being linked with this city belt so far so the city belt will look like this from here so far and then it goes like this into the highway then we have it here linked and then i don't know we have to uh, start doing some thinking and then planning and so on because Andorf is going to be pretty big but uh, yeah all in all the that's how it's going to look like. Let's have a look at the final uh, here. This is how the train, well, the train station and uh, the the bus hub, the bus and tram hub called. I think it's called Arjan Arjan Nish, Nishink 
terminal. I don't know, hopefully I'm pronouncing correctly. PV Begmon will be completely changed. So we have one, two roads here. This is how the new uh, road, um, the bridge actually, and the two train tracks are looking like. So this is what I was telling you. This is the first track that goes to the French uh, train station. And this is the second one that goes over here, which this one, it is called uh, the Kari station. Okay, good. And then we keep going like this and it goes into the Kupman WJ Kupman station. This one, which is the central one. But all in all, if we think and look about it, like on top here, there are so many things that I have to change, but I'm gonna do it. I will change them little by little and build new stuff as well. So guys, uh, that's it. this is it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. I salute you.